Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with another fun um, technique you can do with your plain old inexpensive chalk pastels, and that is stamping with them directly like I did on this card. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly here. So what you need is a stamp. It can be unmounted or, you know, wood mounted, whatever, and a bottle of water. And what you're going to do first is spray your, um, your stamp. I'm going to do it off camera so I don't end up wetting my whole mat down. Okay, and you can shake it off if you get quite a bit on there, but see it's nice and glossy. All right, so then what you're gonna do is um, grab some pastels that you want to use. I'm gonna grab a few colors here. You can really see them. The pastels are dry. This is regular chalk. And I'm just using a couple different colors here. A couple different shades. This is a set of 48 Marie's pastels that I purchased about a year ago at Art Supply Warehouse for about $10. I think Jerry's Artorama also carries it. Um, let me show you the top of the box. This is what it looks like, in case you're curious. It's 48 colors. Um, then I want to do some purples. Look how rich those colors are. It'll give you the look of chalk ink when you're done. And I think I'll do some lighter purple, some like lavender color. Look how you can really get in there and color it um, pretty precisely and of course what I really love is how inexpensive it is and I like that I can kind of get the look of some of the in ink tents um, colors without having to purchase the big set all right so there and that's pretty wet still so I don't think I need to I don't think I need to um, I don't think I need to spray it again so I'm just gonna press it down here on this cardstock this is just inexpensive white cardstock and look at that. Now you can also stamp off and get like a different a different look. Actually, I did that on an envelope. Huh? I was going to stamp off on the envelope, but oh well. And so you can stamp off a couple times and get a different look. And if I want to spray it, I can do that again. I'm going to make a background paper if I wanted to. There's just a lot that you can do. Isn't that pretty? I think I even like the stamp off look better than the actual um, first generation stamping. Now there was one other thing I want to try and I didn't try it last time. Oh, that's so pretty. I just think it's such a lovely background effect. Can you see that? Oh, I just love it. Oh, I also want to see if this is going to work with black cardstock and I did not try that. So that's a first generation there on my envelope that was supposed to be cardstock. And here's my stamping off on my, um, on my just white cardstock, which is pretty. And I think I'll use that for a background. Um, so I also want to try this on white card, uh, derf black cardstock. <laughs> I'm out of practice. I haven't done any videos since Thursday because I wasn't feeling well this weekend. So yeah, there's going to be a few bad pancakes. <laughs> you know, you always throw the first pancake away. I got one of those bad pancakes uploading right now, so we'll see. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I'm just going to throw in my colors. Um, I think I'll use maybe a lighter pink because lighter colors tend to be more opaque. They've got more white in them, more chalk in them so they'll be more opaque so I think I will just stick to the lighter colors here and we'll see how this goes on black oh if you have any of those uh, metallic chalks they would be really pretty on the dark because they would be very opaque all right so I'm gonna stamp that we'll see I don't know if this is gonna work or not so we're we're just gonna see here and let me hit, hit that with the heat gun dry it and we'll see we won't really be able to tell unless it's dry I think the lighter colors will show up and the darker colors won't. That's my, uh, that's my guess. And you can see it's starting, the lighter colors are starting to show. Oh, it is showing up pretty well. All right, I think that's almost dry all the way. Um, so you can see that the pink and the lavender showed up really well and the, the bright green showed up. That purple, the dark purple didn't show up so well, but I think it's still really pretty and Think about how much chalk ink pads cost. You pay five, or six, seven dollars for one. So if you need a set, you, it's gonna be big bucks. This is like having 48 chalk ink pads for $10. And you probably already have something that you can use in your stash, which I totally, totally love. And I think I'm just gonna, since I've got color on this, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and um, find my water bottle here. And I think I'm gonna finish up this background paper because I really like it. And I think I could totally use it on a card. So there's so much you can do with your chalk pastels. I just um, posted a video on another technique. It's a coloring technique. You know, it's not the best coloring video you're ever going to see. It's not even, you know, <laughs> 
top anything, but you know, it gives you an idea on how to use the supplies you already have. And I think that's totally important, especially in this economy where we don't have unlimited bucks to spend on our supplies. So there you have it, stamping with pastels. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos so you don't miss any. And um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.